Howdy, this is Tom Styles, and this is Tom's Ready Room Show. And we're uh, sitting here quite warm in my little office. Uh, summer has come upon us down here in Florida. It's uh, about, let me see, turn around here a second. It's 86 degrees in my office. My office tends to be quite warm in the summer due to the computers being on, the fact that it's on the second story and the sun is beating down on it and the air conditioning is not that efficient up here it's very efficient downstairs it's mild 78 degrees downstairs but it gets quite a hot up here but anyway what I wanted to show you today is something that I ran across and I had used it or seen it quite a while ago and there wasn't a whole much to it but it has grown significantly and it's related to listening and decoding digital data on your shortwave radio and this is a very handy little website that I've used in the past and I forgot about it and then somewhere I got an email about it and here it is it's um, an email that gives you samples audio samples of digital modes so that you can learn to recognize a digital mode and then use the appropriate software to decode it. And when I first saw this, and I don't know how long ago it was, I've lost track of time, um, it was about two pages. It was this page and another page, maybe a half a page more. That's what was it. But now, you look at it, and I'm just going to scan it real quick and show you how, how big it is. And these are all the digital modes that are on the airwaves. Look at it. It just goes on. It must be, I don't know, 15 pages. It just goes on and on and on. And then here's some mystery um, digital recordings, which they're not sure exactly what they are. Look at all these. And then here's some links to some various uh, other web pages about digital data. So let's go back up here at the top, and I'll see if I can pick out a few that I know. Way, way up here at the top. Where is the top? Oh, come on. Okay, CW, of course, most of you know about that, which is the old method of Communicating, especially uh, during the wartime, for instance, is da 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 set of codes, the dots and dashes that represent words. So you can click on these and listen to the sound. So let's just do that for a second. And I've got my micro my speakers turned down, so I don't know if that actually recorded should because uh, well it probably did because I just got the speakers turned down not the actual audio and then there's RTTY which again is radio teletype again something used a lot a long time ago not used uh, too much but it's still out there um, some of the military uh, stations still use RTTY transmission Here's Sitor, familiar with that. Uh, I believe that's used on boats. And let me see. Here's here's one that's very popular with amateur radio operators, which is PSK31. And again, I don't know if it's going to play and get recorded, but I'm going to do it anyway. And here's the sample, and you can play it over and over again. And then you get familiar with it, and then you can recognize that when you hear that on the radio. And like I say, you can use, uh, there's many, many programs, software programs out there that you can plug the output of your radio into your computer, and it will decode uh, messages and stuff like that. And I'll show you an example of that. And this one, WeFax, was um, something that I used to, be into a lot about 15 years ago um, before weather maps were quite 
predominant on TV, and even now it's very predominant on the Internet. This is where you could actually receive weather facts, pictures, off of an HF radio. It's off a short wave. And here's an example here of one of the frequencies that's still active. This is still active throughout the world. And you can receive these um, facts and decode them. So we can listen to that one for a second. Very distinct sound on that one. You recognize that one once you've heard it before. And there's Packet and Pactor and just goes on and on and on. I mean, many, many of these I have never heard of and I did not realize they exist. They just go on and on and on. So, for instance, if I go to over here to, uh, oh, by the way, let me go back here. The um, web page that I'm showing you is kb9ukd.com slash digital. He has a couple other things that he has on his web pages. And like I say, this is actual recordings of these different modes to help you familiarize yourself with these different modes. And then once you familiarize yourself, you can start tuning their bands and find some of these signals. And then here is a ton, this is on dxzone.com, of software, most of which is free, that you can use to decode these digital signals off of your radio. Now, for instance, multi-PSK will decode a whole ton of these different modes. Uh, then there's you can go down and there there's ones that are specific to a digital mode. Uh, let me see if I can find one. Uh, where is it? Oh, here it is. WXTOIMG. That's for decoding weather facts. Now, this particular program is for decoding weather facts coming down from satellites that pass overhead. And it's there in the 139 megahertz, I think, range. So you need a radio that will receive there. For instance, any scanner radio will receive that frequency. So that's another little package. And I used that for years and uh, had a lot of fun with that. And it, it's really, it's, it's one of those things that's just interesting to be able to receive that signal, have your have it plugged in to your computer, have this software or another one decoded and see the picture that the satellite that just passed over your house took that picture. Now, for instance, this afternoon, I had my scanner on, one of my scanners on, and it happened to have in the list of frequencies, it had the frequencies for these type of satellites, the NOAA satellites. And lo and behold, while I was listening to the radio, it was about 3.15 in the afternoon, it locked on to one of those signals because a satellite was passing overhead loud and clear. So those are still available. If I would have had that hooked up to my computer, I could have downloaded the picture, either a, a map or it could have been even a satellite picture. And the maps, you don't see much on your local weather station on TV. You can find the maps on the Internet, of course. Um, here's another one, APT Decoder. It's another one for decoding the weather satellites that are passing overhead. Again, there are ones that will decode um, the weather facts that are transmitted on HF radio. And like I say, there's a whole bunch of stations that are transmitting those HF um, weather facts. So I thought I'd show you this. Um, here's uh, another website, and I'll go back up to the top where I was. This is hamuniverse.com, and they have several, so you can see all these web pages they have. And they have one on digital modes. And it talks about the various, and it's got nice descriptions of each of the digital modes. For instance, let's see if we can find, may take too long.
and some of these are not only digital modes but they are like these are um, programs that will decode like FL Digi Digi is another program that is a multi-mode decoder and it will decode many of the dig digital modes and here's multi PSK again so I just thought I'd show you those couple of websites I will put the links to these websites in the description of this video so that's the show hope you enjoyed it if you enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up uh, also if you would take the time to share this video that way we can um, get to other people that don't know about my show and one thing I wanted to do is go back here for a second it appears YouTube has corrected the problem with the subscriptions a number of subscriptions that's easy for me to say the number of subscriptions and the notification of subscriptions because we hit 4,000 subscribers a couple of weeks ago and we've already zoomed up to 4,092 in a short period of time well while for a while there I was getting like only one or two new subscribers a week now I'm getting like five or ten which is my normal average and many times that's because of you viewers and subscribers that spread the word about my videos so I appreciate that I appreciate everybody that has subscribed thanks for watching have a great day bye bye